Hello and welcome to my first ever Slay the Spire video. I've never played this game or seen this game until like literally five minutes ago. I did like a very short excursion just to make sure I like, you know, wasn't fumbling the controls and stuff, but I've played a lot of Magic the Gathering and other games like this. So I've been told a lot that this is the type of game for me. And from the short preview that I had, I'm definitely on board. So I'm still learning. I'm still just going to go with, I don't know the difference between like any character. Oh, it tells you HP and gold. Ring of the Snake, at the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. At the end of each combat, heal 6 HP. I mean, we're going with extra cards, obviously. <laughs> um, for those who know... Oh, this is different. I know nothing about this game at all, except for the fact that I played a tiny bit, so I kind of know how the combat works. At least confront the first boss. Enemies in your next three combats have 1 HP or max HP plus 7. What is this? Uh, I think I want to give myself more max HP, but I literally don't know. <laughs> I just started out talking to the whale dude. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm figuring this game out. I'm going to play my first couple run-throughs on camera. Just, I don't know, maybe people will enjoy seeing me try to learn this game. And then obviously I'll practice a bunch of my own. But from what I understand, it's, it's a roguelike, so you pick your path through the game. Um, and then you can heal up at these bonfires and stuff. Yeah, you know what, let's just go for it. I'm going to go for all enemies. I don't know if that's a good idea. But you get rewards from fighting and I'm here to fight. Oh, they have different decks. These are completely different cards than I've ever seen. Deal 3 damage, apply 1 weak. Weakened creatures deal less damage. These dudes are about to do a ton of damage. And I have defend as well. So I'm going to get hit for 15. Cool, cool. So I get to attack three times. So let's neutralize. I guess I could just kill this one, right? How do I get rid of this? Okay. Deal six damage. All right, let's just kill this one. Strike. 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 And then neutralize there. I don't know why that one was free. But then end turn, I can do with E. Okay. So now I have this big slime who's about to hit a bunch of damage for me, but I guess neutralize hits all enemies. So that's definitely something. Survivor, gain eight block, discard one card. So that's actually good because I can only cast three cards. Um, and eight block is enough so I can discard this defend. Because I believe eight is more than this seven. I could just cast defend. Then end the turn. I should not take any damage. I got this card. Slimed Exhaust. Does this stay in my deck forever? Because that would be ridiculous. Um, so I want to see if I can weaken it again. I can't. So it's only going to hit 7. So I can discard this Slimed. And then just hit it with 2 strikes. And I shouldn't take any damage. Okay. I'm, I'm picking up. Maybe <laughs> I'm going to watch this back later on and be like super embarrassed with how I played this, but I just kill this now. So I get 16 gold and then you get to add a card to your deck at the end. Whoa. Gain two block, draw two cards. Deal eight damage next turn, gain one. Energy is used to play cards from your hand. Well, that seems pretty sweet. This is like Metamorphose for those who play magic. It seems like anyway. Oh, look at the caterpillars! Upon receiving damage, rolls up and gains 5 block once per combat. So they're planning to attack me for a total of uh, 13. So survivor is definitely what I want to do. So this plus defend will completely cover me and then I can flying knee. So I block, I block, and then we flying knee the weaker one. So now I'm covered for 13. They're going to hit me for 13. I shouldn't take any damage. And then I should have extra energy to do more stuff next turn. I took no damage in that exchange. Beautiful. So neutralize. Deal 3 damage. Apply 1 weak. So 6 damage will kill this. And then he's planning to attack for 7. But I can... 
Well, neutralize appears to be free, which seems insane. So he's only going to do five, so I can defend and then strike. And I don't know if there's any benefit to like casting an extra defend, but I can, I guess. Weakened wears off, and then we just strike to kill it. Okay. Not taking any damage. Take the gold, get a card. Draw one card, discard one card for zero. Oh, if you've discarded a card this turn, gain two energy. I guess this is fine, right? It's zero energy, draw discard. But I guess you end up down one card overall. I'm just going to keep fighting the dudes. I don't know. <laughs> it seems more fun. This is the whale that I talked to, but it's actually a jaw worm. So he's going to hit me for 11. So let's start with neutralize, which is just a free spell for whatever reason. Prepare to draw one discard. So this is going to do 8 damage. Uh, I guess I probably want to do this. And we can discard... Strike, because I'm going to double defend here. So we go defend, defend, flying knee here. End turn. Now I take no damage, so the block just wears off, and I don't get any extra energy too, but I can go Survivor. Discard a Defend, sure. And then Strike, and then... I have a lot of energy for Defend, which doesn't really help me. <laughs> I want to get some of these Defends out of my deck, which I haven't quite figured out yet, but I believe there has to be a way to get cards out of your deck. So we're going to go Defend, Defend, Strike... And turn. Yeah, what is this? He intends to block and use a buff. So... It's, we don't need survivor, so we can prepare. Just go this defend. Neutralize. I want to see what happens. This is actually a test. If you survivor is the last card in your hand. Aha! Okay, so you don't need the block as an additional cost. That's good. Because now I know if Survivor's your last card, you don't really care about it. Oh, that's not good. It's my fifth turn. So he's going to hit me for 10? I could just kill him, right? Eat. Six. Yeah. Nice. 12 gold. Deal 7 damage, apply 1 weak. Deal 4 damage to all enemies twice. Like that. Kind of like that, though. I'm, like, probably making huge mistakes, but we're figuring it out together. This reminds me of the first time I played Dominion, which is... It's a similar game, it seems. Like, it's deck building and stuff. Um, the goal with this character... I guess is to like kill them all on your first turn. So neutralize, we can weaken this rat who has a mushroom thing. Undeath applies too vulnerable. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Uh, let's hit this one and weaken it. And now we're gonna gain some block, discarding this strike. And then we can flying knee this one because we have eight block and they're down to four attack the animations of this game are slightly strange but that's okay <laughs> Ugh. um i mean i guess i might as well use this don't need this many defense i don't think i like that card so i could just play all of these though right defend 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 Break this. And I want to see, it looks like they may be healed, but I think I maybe just attacked this one. Okay, we can Sucker Punch. 
Strike, strike. So we're going to strike and kill this rat. So we gain vulnerable. We receive 50% more damage from attacks for two turns. But they intend to use a buff. So we can sucker punch this. And then strike this. Because it looks like they're not attacking. And then they will die. Row gives them strength. But they're also weak, which goes away. But now... I don't have enough to kill them because I have all defend cards, which I don't like. So I guess we're just going to do this. Defend. So I exactly don't take damage. And then I should be able to kill him next turn. And we just flying me. Okay. Okay. 14 gold. Get a card. What do we want? Uh, deal three damage five times is pretty sweet. Apply three poison. Poison creatures lose HP at the start of their turn. Each turn poison reduced by one. Okay, so they probably lose three, then two, then one is my guess. That would be my guess. That seems good with all the defensive things I have right now. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend! I'm Cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. I can heal. Oh, I would like to remove a card from my deck. Uh, that's pretty sweet. Okay, so you gotta talk to random dudes <laughs> to remove cards from your deck. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of Defend for now. I hope that wasn't a mistake. We go to this bonfire. I don't need any health, so I can upgrade something and deal 11 damage, gain one. Draw two, discard two is fine. I mean, I guess this is the one I want to upgrade. This is one energy, deal 11 damage, gain an energy next turn. That seems kind of ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, they are going to inflict a negative effect on me, and this one's going to intend a buff. Not a fan of that, but this should just one-shot the louse? Well, let me see. I can deal six damage and six poison. I think we'll do that here. Then I can flying knee to hit this one. And then strike is going to do six damage. Never mind. Strike does not do six damage. <laughs> um. All right, let's hit this again. Okay, so it had a uh, guard, I guess. So this should take three from poison. So next turn it will die to poison. And weakened means I do way less damage. Okay, that's fine though, because we can kill this one. Kill this one. And then I guess we can prepare because we don't need defend because I'm not being attacked. We sucker punch. And then I think this should die to poison before it can attack me. Okay. Now I'm like super weak. But it doesn't really matter because I have poison stab. So he just dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that works. What other cards do we got? Deal 8 damage, draw one card. <laughs> Deal 4 damage for each skill in your hand. Gain 5 block, draw 2 cards. Wow, these cards get really good very quickly. So I want to get rid of like all these bad cards. Alright, who needs rest? Nobody needs rest. Um, Deal 12 damage, draw 1 card. Uh, Yeah. That seems good. I'm just gonna like... Ooh, what is this? 
76 gold, Darkstone Periat. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max health by 6. Curse cards are negative cards that stay in your deck. Relics found throughout the Spire grant unique bonuses and remain throughout your run. Oh, okay. So I have at the start of each combat, draw two cards. That's my relic. Okay. That makes some amount of sense. And this appears to be a boss of some sort. I may have... Ch Whoa! It's a shell. At the end of its turn, it gains eight block. Okay. Um, this enemy's asleep, so I don't know what that means, but I think I'm going to get rid of a defend. And then we're just going to hit it with all these strikes. Hit it there, hit it there. Uh oh. Maybe I'm supposed to leave it asleep so that I can buff myself up. Hit me for 18? Uh, okay. Well, one damage apply weak. 11 damage, gain things next turn. I'm energized. I gain an additional action. That's from the flying knee. Well, I'm going to take some damage here. We can defend, I suppose. That's a lot of damage, though. Quick slash. Deal 12 damage, draw a card. I like that. We're going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> We can prepare to discard this defend. And then I guess we just double defend and we're still going to take a bunch of damage. But at least he's poisoned. So that's something. Okay, Stucker Punch, 7 damage, 1 weak. What is he planning to do? Negative effect. A powerful negative effect. Alright, let's kill him. Stucker Punch. Flying Knee. Strike. And turn. Takes poison damage. Siphon soul. Strength and dexterity down. Wow, I do like no damage now. Alright, neutralize. But I have all of these strikes. If he hadn't have weakened me, I would have been able to kill him, I think. But now I take like 500 damage. Get him with that. I currently don't know if there's any... Ooh, wing boots. You may ignore paths when choosing the next room to travel th three times. Do I just get all of these? Gain five dexterity. Improves block gained from cards. Okay. Um, I have yet to know how much you can heal. I think I just kept... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That seems really good. So I could just go anywhere? I mean, I've completely ignored all bonfires. But I guess I probably want to go here so I can hit up this merchant. Or whatever the question mark is. When its HP is at or below 50%, we'll split into two smaller slimes. Cool, cool. So we can poison it, flying knee, strike, strike, oh, that's right, just that. We need to get more of those like zero energy do stuff, because the first time I always end with cards in my hand. Deal nine damage, draw cards. So he weakened me twice, so I do quite a bit less damage. Then he is... His intentions are unknown. Alright, I guess we strike. Strike. And then survivor. Getting rid of a defend. I really, really do not like the zero cost draw and discard a card. And I hope split takes his whole turn. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, that's so good. That's so good. All right, let's do this. Draw two cards. <laughs> We're doing stuff. Um. Okay. Now what? 
So I can apply weak to both of these. I guess I just want to hit weak with this. Because I don't really have defense. Deal 9 damage, draw a card. Poison. Uh, I guess I can Prepared. Doesn't really do anything. Yeah, the, the Prepared is really bad. I hate that card. Um, poison Stab. I think if I had focused down that slime, I would have been able to kill it. So that was actually a mistake, because now I'm going to take 5 extra damage that I didn't need to take. And I got a slime? Unbelievable. Well... I can kill this one. And then just defend twice. So I don't take any damage. What is this one? Exhausted cards? Okay. So he's just gonna slime me, so we can go like flying me strike. Yeah, so I took five damage that I didn't need to take. Liquid memories. Choose a card in your discard pile, return it to your hand, it costs zero. Okay. Deal 5 damage. If an enemy has weak, gain that and draw a card. Yes, I have a lot of weak things, so I'm kind of seeing what's going on here. I could put a boss monster, but I think... I'm going to go the easy route for my first, first ever sling of the Spire. You find a shimmering mass of light encompassing the center of the room. Its warm glow and enchanting patterns invite you in. Upgrade two random cards and lose 15 HP? Yes. <laughs> of course. Of course I will do that. So now we fight here. I only have 21 HP. What is thievery? Looter steals 15 gold whenever it attacks? Can I kill it? So I can neutralize and apply weak. Then if the enemy is weak, you gain... This is basically free and you get to draw a card. I guess I may... as well prepared here. Go to strike, sure. Strike plus. Strike. And then defend. So you're just gonna steal my gold and hit me for two? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of this. Alright, I think they're dead though. Quick slash, deal 12, draw a card. Suck a punch. Flying me. Get out of here, thief! I need health very badly. <laughs> I also don't know how to use these, but maybe I do it from up there. Oh, I get the gold back. Nice. Okay, okay. Applies four poison and two weak to all enemies. Nah, we're going for quick slash. Deal a draw card. So now we're just gonna go here, and then there's a bonfire in the last fight. Uh, okay. Let's start. Well, <laughs> we're gonna take a lot of damage here, probably. <laughs> uh, what do these guys do? He's going to inflict a negative effect and attack me. Oh boy. Okay. Strike plus deals 9 and this does 12. So with those two, I can kill this guy. And then I can survivor to guard for 8. So I think I like... Let's kill him. Yeah, and then we strike to do 6 here. And then I'm only taking 8 so I can guard like this and get rid of defend. Guess I can prepared, but there's a lot of good stuff I would like to draw. I think we're just gonna end. Oh, they can block for each other? Does that block stay? Oh no. Okay, that's fine. We can neutralize here. So that does less. Flying knee here. 
and then poison stab here. So he's going to die of poison, and then I can defend. So I don't take damage from this guy. And I don't know what this is. Angry. Upon receiving attack damage, it gains one strength. Heal hook. Delay damage. If the enemy has weak, gain one and draw a card. So I could do seven damage and apply weak. I guess I probably want to use this. And he's blocking for seven. So we're going to kill this one. And then I can strike. He's gaining strength. <laughs> uh, if I strike him again, he's going to hit me for more damage. I can hit him for 12. So I guess I just double defend. And then strike him one more time. Because he can only hit me for six. But we are precariously low. Alright, this should just finish him off. Heal eight. Neutralize. Strike. Neutralize seems insane. It costs no energy. Blessing of the Forge. Upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of combat. I like that. How do I get rid of these? Dexterity, improved block, gain from cards. Choose a card in your discard pile, return it to hand, it costs zero this turn. Uh, this seems good, I'm getting rid of this. So I guess I'm supposed to just use those, which I definitely did not know. If this card is discarded from your hand, gain... Oh, I like that. Gain five block, draw two cards. I mean, that seems very good. So now I get to go to a bonfire thingy. <laughs> so I think I should probably heal. <laughs> Consider I think this is the end, but I'm not actually sure. Let's do it. Mode shift. After receiving 30 damage, changes to defensive mode. This is our first turn. So upgrade all cards in your hand for the rest of the combat. I think I just want to do this. So I get energized, quick slash to draw a card here. Sucker punch to apply weak. I guess we can neutralize him. And he's not doing any damage. Okay. Sharp hide. Whenever you play an attack, take three damage? Does that go away? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, okay. He's gonna attack me for six. All right, you know what? We're about to take a bunch of damage, but so is he. I'm glad I healed. And defend and turn. <laughs> I take one damage from his attack. And sharp hide is just still there. Okay. So I can look at my discard and I can get one of them back with this. Which I think I want to do. He's going to attack me for 12. Let's do this. Ooh, adrenaline's good. Let's cast this. Now... Now I'm in a bit of trouble. You late damage, draw a card. Take three damage. Poison him. Flying knee deal 11. Next turn I gain extra stuff. And then I kind of want to use... kind of have to defend and then drink this and grab defend again feel like I have to do that 
I, I feel like I'm playing this wrong. Okay, Sharpheart does go away. So now is the time to hit him for damage. And weakness wore off? No! <laughs> Wait a second. Deal 8 damage, draw a card for free. I need to apply weakness somehow. But I don't have that currently. He's gonna hit me for 20? Okay. I can gain 8 block. Alright, let's prepare it. Ooh, there's Sucker Punch. Let's get rid of Strike. We apply Weak. Now it's 3 by 4 That's way easier to defend against. Now he has Weak, so I can do this. We neutralize. And we defend plus. So right now I'm taking 12. Now I'm taking 4. I kind of want to get back heal hook. Drink this, we're gonna get back. He also has poison. Yeah, There's nothing can go wrong here. Heal hook you. Defend, perfect. No damage, we did stuff. And now he's going to guard. A lot of block, so let's quick slash you. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, strike plus. Because he doesn't have that thing that does like ridiculous damage to me yet. Strike you. The problem is that I used all of my things and backflip is like exactly what I needed. But let's, I want to see something actually. So if I do that and then I attack. Oh, okay. So I can block that effect. That makes some amount of sense. So I can just end the turn now and I will take one damage. Okay. I'm understanding things now. I didn't know I could block his attack. Alright, Sucker Punched. Deal 7 damage, apply 1 weak. This is like very problematic. Go with Prepared. Get rid of Strike. We can defend. Defend. And weaken him. Now he only hits me for 12. I could poison stab. It's going to do 6 and then 3 and then 2 and then 1. But I'm probably going to die if I do that, so... <laughs> okay, take a lot. He becomes less defensive. Quick slash you. Get a weak card. Poison stab. I think I'm dead, actually. Five times four just kills me. Well, this is where the hero dies. He's poisoned. I can defend. He's not weakened, so heal hook doesn't work. And then he kills me with five by four. I guess I get to find out what happens when you die. <laughs> Alright, death. I wasn't prepared for this. That's it? Okay. That's not so bad. I didn't kill a boss, but I did some things. Oh. I, that looks kind of like a baby. Like a 
like a baby. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. All right, well, that was my first four in to Slay the Spire. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will get better at this game for sure <laughs> once I figure things out, um, how to upgrade and things like the... I think the early stages are where I struggled because my deck was just not good when I got to the later st stages. See you guys then.